uh, I put out a call to my two incandescent sons. I, there's no one else I could trust. It had to stay in the Goldberg family. Jonah, who is here today. Where are you, Jonah? Hi, Mom. Hi, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> How is your sandwich, honey? <laughs> Good and free. <laughs> uh, Jonah flew home. He was working here at AEI with Ben Wattenberg and with New River Media. Uh, he flew home. My son Josh, who lives around the corner, walked around the corner. A absolutely fabulous evening, if you remember, it was one that Paula Jones showed up in. And uh, we went to the sort of semi crash, the Vanity Fair party afterward. Um, and walking back to the hotel that night, four o'clock in the morning, very overserved, I was walking with Jonah, with John Padoritz with Matt Drudge. You can see how, you know, the vast right-wing conspiracy huddles together for protection, particularly when we're drunk at 4 o'clock in the morning. And I realized there was a stranger among us, sort of like a pilot fish following along with his hands jammed in his pocket. And I turn around. It was, I probably shouldn't name these people's names, but what the hell. It was Walter Isaacson from Time Magazine. Editor. I said, Greta, um, why are you so taken aback? Doesn't anybody else in the media not like you? She said, no. And I said, well, when, when they write something bad about you, are you going to call their mother? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, call Jonah. You gotta, he's 29 years old. You've got to fight with Jonah. Call him. Did she ever call you, Jonah? No, scared. See, she's scared of you. <laughs> Jonah was also the one that brought this, this phone message to me. Now, no, nobody can claim this phone message. Mom, it's Tom Brokow on line one, and he wants to talk to you about oral sex. <laughs> <laughs> now I thought, I can die now. I can die now. Die now. Die now. <laughs>